Right guys, welcome back to a, another Babbling Beer Review. Been a little while, um, as I said in the last video, I had a, had a couple of weeks uh, layoff of the beer. Um, no real particular reason, just that I wanted to see how I could go without drinking. As I said before, it's been be 20 odd years without going a length of time with the rest. Um, and I do like my beer, so, but um, probably would be a good thing to cut back a little bit here and there, you know. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, Babbling Beer Reviews, off and on. So we've been, the, the, the couple of videos, this is to type the last of them couple of um, previous uh, Brew Day videos. The, this is the, the, the third part in the little series of Brew Day videos. Um, if you haven't checked the other ones out, check them out. Brew Day Part 1, Brew Day Part 2. Um, probably a load of waffling and babbling really, because people make these videos on YouTube and they're, sort of 15, 20 minute segments and they make the whole beer from scratch to finish. I think I, 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 you know, you don't often see the end result, do you? People sort of show you how to wash the stuff out, the beer kit they're making, um, or you get the other side of the coin where they just show you a kit beer that they sit and drink and do a review on. They don't show how they make it and what's been involved in it. So that the idea of this video was just to sort of show you, or these videos was to show you that, um, for those of you who don't know, you know, how to, how to use a beer kit, basically. Um, obviously, you know, there's a lot more things you could do in depth. I mean, I, I, I've done a few beer kits now. I, I am looking to go into all grain brewing. I want to get one of these um, beer kettles. I've been looking around at different ones and maybe one in the future when I do get a hold of a beer kettle, um, set up my little brewery in my outbuilding there. Um, I'll do videos on that as well, but who knows? We'll see that's down the road. But yeah, it was just to sort of show you how to get a beer kit, the equipment you need to do. You know, you can have as minimal as you want it, or or as maximum. You know, it's up to you really what you do. I mean, if you obviously it all comes down to cost, doesn't it? Babbling beer reviews. <laughs> you know, you can you can spend as much as you want or as little as you want really on on your ingredients and your equipment. And obviously the better the beer kit that you buy or that you know the um the cans bags whatever the, the more money you spend on a kit like that um the better it's going to taste really so this was a simply pale ale beer kit which was to say just shy of 16 quid i just use general sugar um you you know probably to get a better result you can remove it and have dry malt extract or um uh you know brewer's sugar there's all different things and you know you can use different different things different techniques so obviously following this it's just a simple parallel kit following the instructions on the pack of the packet back of the packet um and going with that you know for anyone who wants to make a, a sort of simple but simple 40 pints of beer about beer reviews uh so yeah so that was that was basically what it was about and obviously now this part here as i said to you in the previous videos is about checking it out and seeing what um, what it's turned out like. Uh, I did sort of pour a bit off in the second video uh, towards the end there, um, and sort of had a little sip and a, and a smell of it. Um, but now we've got it in the pub, uh, on the keg, from the keg connected to the beer pump. So we'll have a look at that now. Let's have a look, see what it's all about. So I've made up a little pump clip. I own about this. Company's sending me. <laughs> So it made it a cardboard cutout, as I say, but I made this just because there's nothing to go with it. So it's a simple, or well, simply parallel. It's beer o'clock, guys. It's beer o'clock. Uh, ABV, done it about 5.2%. It's probably about 5 percent uh, Brewed here, instant 2D brewery. It doesn't exist. Um, it's just me making up rubbish um, and making a beer kit. So that's the little pump clip I've made. I say little pump clips can't quite big. Um, and without further ado, I shall now pour it out. So there we are guys, here we go, let's go. On the pump, hand pull beer, as we say, that's what we like, don't we? Well I do anyway. As I've had a couple of weeks off from doing reviews, as I said to you in the last video, again I've got got a couple to to do in the fridge. Um we'll get around to doing them. So lots and lots of, of head on it, um, froth. And I, I have tried a you know a bit of this while it's been out here. It tastes better today than it did when I first put it on, so let's have a little look and see. Um, 
hopefully you've seen the other the previous part so this is to say to finish off that little run of videos all right so i'll just give me a seat uh oh let me just show you there it is why it's settling out and i'll get my seat and i'll come back to you ta-da that was quick wasn't it <laughs> takes a minute doesn't it just to get around so simply pale ale by uh, Riches, it was actually it's it's actually from Riches on Amazon. If you look at them, they do a stout, uh, dark ale, and a couple of others on there. So check that out. Simply Pale Ale, um, ideal for the money. You know, forty pints, you're having a little party at home, or and you're you know a bit of a dabbler with beer. You can uh, so you can do different things, change the yeast out, make sure your fermentation's good, and do different things with it. Um, I added some East Kent Goldings to mine and some Fuggles. Um, complete disaster because I lost my muslin bag um, and I needed to get them in so as you see in the previous videos what I did um, check that out and you'll see what I did with it so we got by we may do a mend um, I am going to do another one I won't do a video on it I don't think unless you want to see the video let's put it in the comments but um, St Peter's Gold Nail I've got a beer to, to review in the fridge St Peter's Gold Nail I've been reading good good things about St Peter's Brewery so um, yeah, I picked up a, a gold nail to review uh, out of a bottle, so I'm going to do that in the next few weeks. Um, it was a bottle in treatment, like the shape of the bottle, actually. And yeah, looking at it and actually reading up about the beer kits, it's got a good a good write up for um, the outcome. You know, a lot of people give it high rating on on Amazon. So um, what you get in that kit, I don't know. As I haven't, I think you get a couple of tins in there, the extract, the malt extract. So. £21 off Amazon, I'm looking at picking it up and, and giving it a whirl, so I've got these Fuggles and Goldens to use up throw in as well, so just probably bung them in just to get rid of them with the new muslin bag. But yeah, I might just get one of them and see how it goes, but I'm not planning on posting or making a video of it, I just thought I'd do it and see how it comes out. But And then also compare it to the bottle I've got in the fridge. Like, having that bottle, I've got an idea, I suppose, of what it should be like. Although, as I say, live out and then... Um, bottle would have completely different to me so right so guys lovely white head very little head on there now when i first pulled it out it had loads of head on it it is crystal crystal clear i mean if anything it's very light probably too light for my liking it almost look like an ipa sort of color you know it's really very very light can you see nice and clear and the color of bottles in there um As I say, the smell has changed again in the last couple of days. Uh, you know, with all beer kits, you are going to get a, a beer kitty flavour in the beer, I think. I mean, put in the comments if you disagree. As I say, I think different techniques you use. Fermentation's key. Yeast, whether you use wet, dry, you know, all these different things. Um, sugars you put in it, dry malt extract, granulated sugar, brewer's sugar. All, all these things make a difference. Whether you do your water, as you you know, chlorine in your water, as you can see in the videos, I use Camden tablets, never use one. I do think it's helped and improved, uh, definitely on the quality of the water. Um, so little things to tweak here and there every time I do one, a brew kit, just try different things to try and get better at it. Uh, but yeah, the overall, you know, the, the, there's a, it's just a nice, you know, sort of pleasant aroma. It's not. Um, Nothing overpowering in there at all. As I say, that when I first sort of smell, I had that beery kit smell when I did the last video. But sitting in here in the pub for a couple of days, it seems to have dropped again. So it might be that I took it off a bit too early. It was two, two nearly three weeks, and I did so wait. So the longer you leave it in the keg or barrel or bottles, um, obviously different things happen in chemistry and things happen and things go on. It's still it wants to be fermented a little bit. So you can leave it for longer, a longer period of time. I'm just impatient. That's my problem. <laughs> Here at the babbling, babbling beer reviews of the King and Dragon, very impatient. So let's give it a little taster and see, shall we? Yeah, not too bad. Um, a little twang, I'd say, for a beer kit twang. Uh, not too bad, better than I have had previously, I suppose. Uh, sweet, but not too sweet. And I don't think I should use the granulated sugar. Um, I 
you can taste that nice sort of light malt in there. It's almost like a toffee, toffee sort of taste to this. Um, there's a bitterness, there's a, there's a bitterness in there. It's not unpleasant. It's not an aftertaste, it's uh, about on the back end of bitterness for me. Um, and obviously I can taste, I put Fuggles in and East Kent Goldings and I can taste them pops coming through, so. It's, I mean, it's very clear. There's a slight, there's a slight sort of, um, not carbonation, but. I suppose it's like a citrusy sort of thing in it. I mean, it's, it's actually all right. It's not too bad at all, to be honest. I think, as I say, the longer you leave that, the more pleasant it will taste. And obviously different things you do. I thought about brewing it again at the price, for, you know, get some dry malt extract and try on that. Because you can obviously brew the kit again and again, can't you, and do different things with it and try different things to experiment and see, you know, you get different results. I mean, it's quite, yeah, you know, it's sort of, it's holding the head all right, it's head retention there, look. It's a nice white head, as you can see, a nice, ever so clear beer. As I say, I've got a nice after bittery taste, which is not too bad, actually. I quite like that. It's not too bad at all. Um, mouthful. Feels quite light, actually. Or it tastes quite light. Not feels babbling beer reviews. It, it tastes quite quite light. It's not you know, body-wise. On the mouthfeel. Yeah. I suppose light to medium. It's crossing over there. Light to medium. Bodied. Um, yeah, uh, obviously, you know, you, you've already got your ingredient, whatever's in the malt, in, in the malt extract when you buy the packet. This was a packet rather than a tin. I've always used the tins, and I, I often think sometimes you get a twang because of the tinny taste. The other thing to do as well is hot kettle water when you pour that onto your malt mix. Um, I mean, when it's boiling hot kettle, it could burn the sugars in the malt mix, the starches, you know, that I think it could. So maybe boiling by a hot pan or, you know, add add your hot water first, then, then sort of pour your malt mix into the hot water rather than I put the malt in first and I add the hot water after. So you might, little things like that can make all the difference. So, you know, think about what you're doing if you haven't done it. Um, those that you have. Put in the comments to help me and things that I could do differently and, and and try. Um yeah, and you know, have fun making some beer, really. It's um if you like doing beer reviews, like drinking beer and for for cost, you know, for what it is, I mean it's come out lovely club, but no no findings or nothing in that. I'll just let that drop. And I say two and a half, just shy of three weeks and it's dropped clear. I mean I reckon if I'd have left that for another three weeks. If I was patient enough, I reckon that probably tastes quite nice as sitting there in the keg. But, uh, power off that bloody speaker, that ain't been on there, is it, for a little while? <laughs> I've been avoiding that lately, it's come back to haunt me. <laughs> uh, it's because I've got the snooker on in the background, so oh dear, stupid man, do that quite a lot. But yeah, as you can see, look, it's still holding, it's holding its head. Quite, quite lovely. I mean, yeah, I'm pleased with that, I suppose, for what it costs, um, you know, and a home brew rather than buying. I mean, you know, that's it. It's all about fun as well, isn't it, in the, the day? Um, as I say, it's been sitting in there for a couple of days and it's, it seems to have sort of got better in taste. I think it's only, you know, the time of it. It's a fine line, isn't it? You know, I suppose with beer, you can have it, have it you know, it's it's not long enough or or over over time. I mean, if you ever drink a bottle of beer after date, you know, probably wouldn't kill you. I mean, I I had um, I can't remember what it was called now. Red from James, I think it was actually. I went to a friend's uh, family friend, and we you know went seen her for a while, um, and and I had a beer. You know, I was offered a beer there. 
and as you do I took the beer and we were chatting, we had, we had a meal around there and I was chatting away and talking away and I was drinking the beer and I thought oh, I don't know it tastes, it had, it had a strange taste, it was like a musky taste, it was weird <laughs> and I just happened to be spinning the bottle as I was chatting and I sort of copped the, oh, the date on the back of the bottle and it was nearly three years out of date. <laughs> I've probably drunk half a bottle, so I thought, well, I ain't gonna sound to drink the rest of it. Kill a cure. Thankfully, I was all right. Um, but yeah, I hope that'll be rushing on on the beer when I'm off of one round there again. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so beer's got a, a, a shelf life, obviously, isn't it? You know, you, you either drink it too young or leave it too up so it's too old and it tastes blooming horrible. So getting that fine balance, and I suppose when you're brewing beer. You can leave it sitting for a while, um, but uh, once you kick it, kick it up, and you know live hour, and you've got a, you've got your, your short life. I will say, from having previous um, ales I've made, I do get a couple of weeks out of the barrel and sit in a barrel, not a polypin bag. So, yeah, I must admit it's not too bad. I mean, you've got forty pints in there, so you're not going to drink forty pints in a hurry, are you? Unless there's a group of you. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a, a shame to say you know that or serve that to, to friends family um as i say there's a nice bitter i've got a bittery taste now it's definitely got better over the last couple of days and as you can see it's still holding that white head which is good to me so of good beer you know if it keeps that that, that sort of uh, retention as it goes down the pint there um also, I poured it through the pump, so you get another explosion of sort of the flavourings as it comes through the sparkler. So, yeah, what would I rate it at? A Simply Rich's Pearl Ale. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5, but just for the fact that I've made it. I'm sure there's others out there that make it a lot better and a lot tastier. But as a, as a packet beer, 40 pints, £16, 7.5 out of 10. Um, but that, as I say, I've brewed that, so I'm the only one to blame because... I'm sure there's brewers out there that forget that, you know, at marks of 10, near enough, if you know what you're doing properly and you know you've, you've experimented with different yeasts and flavourings and stuff. So you want a bog standard, basic, cheap packet of 40 pints. Yeah, check it out, Amazon, just shy of £16. Richie's Simply Powered Ale. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in for these little videos, this little free bar. And that concludes it, my waffling, babbling beer reviews or beer brew days. As I say, a brew day, making a kit beer, a proper brew day. So check some of the guys out that make these proper beers with their, with their um, hop cats and whatever else, and grain fathers. And the one I've been looking at is the Klein, Klein Stein, I think it is. Um, yeah, all grain brewing. That's the way to go. I want to try that next. That's where I'm headed, I think. That's what I'd like to do. So, you know, tie it all in with everything else. You know, pub life, cheap beer. <laughs> I just I enjoy it. It becomes a hobby, doesn't it? You know, so, yeah. I'll, maybe down the road, as I said previously, or earlier on, I might do a few videos on that. But, um, yeah, if you've had the gold now um, from St. Peter's as well, uh, beer kit, is it worth doing? Put it in the comments. Do you recommend it? What did it come out like? Is it is you know is it something you would um you would you would sort of uh, recommend? And as I say, will I say get that? Yes, buy it. Um, follow the instructions. And if you if if you're not you know never done brewing before, yeah, follow the instructions on the back. Pretty self-explanatory. The most important thing is cleanliness, sanitization. Make sure your stuff you're using, your equipment's all clean, um, and keep. Keep the oxygen, you know, once you've got it brewing, keep that down to a minimum. Ideally, you don't want to be opening the tubs up if you can help it, really. I mean, even adding the the uh, dry hopping on it, you know, you've got to open the lid up. But three, four days into the brewing process, hopefully there's enough going on in there to kill the bacteria so you can get it in there. Like I did quick, get it in. I was a day later than I wanted to be. Get it in there, get the lid shut as quick as you can. Or purge it as you open. People use CO two, you know, the canisters, and they purge, purge the air out. So there's all different things you can do. Um, and if you like brewing and you get accustomed to doing these things, yeah, you know, the more the more you brew, the uh, the easier it gets to do. <laughs> I suppose. Um, 
you learn as you do, don't you? you? Learn by doing, and that's what it's all about. Having fun on the way, um, and um, yeah, experiment, testing yourself. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry, I've not been about for the last few days for my 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 few subscribers. I appreciate you all. I really do. And um, if you want to like and share my stuff for other people to see, that's great. Um, if you have found this video, check out my other videos. Um, and as I say, I'm not going to tell you to like, share, and subscribe. It's up to you, you know, if you want to see what more of what I do and what I waffle and babble about here at the Babbling Beer Revisit the King of Dragon. Then, yeah, uh, I'd appreciate if you did like and subscribe, but um, entirely down to you guys. Um, and I will be back soon. As I say, I've got a few more. I've got, I've just picked another beer up actually at my mum's. It was bought for a friend, but she hasn't took it. So, I've uh, been given a bottle of a jail ale to review, so I'll do that one as well. But I've got three or four sitting in there, um, and we'll get back to doing them reviews. Um, and obviously, I really need to get on with these hand pulled ones, get my beers in, um, maybe get a top size, something from Bayes, and review that. Um, yeah, going forward, that's what we'll be doing. So, look after yourselves, guys. Have a good week. Um, and I say thanks for tuning in. For another Babbly Beer Review, Babbly Beer Review Brew Day, or my own beer review. Um, yeah, and it's as I say, it's still, still holding the, the head there, look, so not a bad effort at all. Nice and clear. Cheers. See you soon.